Well, everybody's here in Vegas, and um, you're probably all familiar with playing cards and different card games in Vegas. And it, you may or may not know this, but there's a variety of different poker games out there in Vegas. You can play poker with eight cards, there's eight card games, there's seven card games, seven card studs, seven card draw, there's six card games, there's five card games, of course, lots of them. There's even a three card poker game. Oh, it's based on poker, it's called Let It Ride. But there's no four card poker game. So I figured if I could devise a four card poker game and sell it to the casinos, I could make a fortune. So that's exactly what I did. I came up with Tom's Poker. Yes, creative name, I know. Uh, it's Tom's Poker. There's only four rules, so it's a pretty easy poker game to play. Uh, there's only four players. Each player gets four cards and only four cards. The best hand with those four cards wins. And the most important rule is the fourth rule. It's Tom's Poker, so Tom makes all the rules. So this is one of the rules. Uh, so f since it's four players and four hands, we, need, uh, we don't need a whole deck. We need uh, four times four, which is... Um, 16. 16 cards. So if you take the deck and deal 16 cards right here onto the pad, that would be great. Four, five, six, seven, eight, wait, seven, eight, yeah, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Perfect. And we'll get rid of the rest of the deck. We don't need it. Now here's where Tom's Poker gets a lot different than other uh, games in the casino. I'm going to let you have the cards. Now, in the casino, they never let the players touch the cards. And I'm going to have you mix the cards. Not now, but in a minute, I'm going to show you what I want you to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that packet, you're going to deal as many cards as you want to down onto the table. You're going to turn the rest of the cards in your hand over, drop them right on top, pick the whole thing up, and give it a cut. Got it? So go ahead. Deal however many cards you want to down on the table. Whenever you want to, stop. Good. Deal, turn those, pack it over. Pick the whole thing up, give it a cut. Anywhere? Anywhere is fine. Baller. And do it again. So however many cards you want to. Turn the whole thing over, drop it on top, pick it up. You can cut it or not, it's up to you. Okay, perfect. Now you can do it from the other side if you want to, too, to mix it up. You can turn the whole thing over if you want. I feel good. You're good? You want yeah. to cut it again or you're happy the way they are? Totally happy. You're happy? Yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so uh, now you'd see that the cards are all mixed, all right? Different cards, different order, uh, some face up, some face down, just a, a kind of a mess, right? Now I'm going to have you deal the cards too, which is a lot different than casinos. So you can either deal from this side or you can deal it from the other side. It's your choice. Whoa, sneaky. Now the house always gets the first hand. So you deal one card to me and then you'll deal out three other poker hands, okay? Perfect. And there's going to be another difference in a minute. You see, again, different than most poker games, you have some cards face, so you kind of have an idea of what you've got going into the game. Perfect. Now I'm going to offer you, since you dealt, here's where it changes again. I'm going to offer you the opportunity, you can play any one of these hands. So just by looking at, other than obviously the hand for the house. So looking at these hands, is there any hand you'd rather <laughs> play than any other hand? That's probably a good idea, all right? So that'll be your hand. So we'll take a look at uh, your hand first, Jesse. So you've got a four. Let's see what else you've got. You've got a 10. That's not too bad. Oh, another 10. That's not bad. Oh, and a four. So that's two pair. That's not a bad hand. Yeah, you'd bet, you'd bet on that hand, you know. Uh, John, we'll see what John has here. He's got a seven to start with. Uh, a jack. Ooh, another jack. Another jack. That's three. That's not bad. But I think your hand is the one you wanted. So you've got the three aces. What do you think? I think it might be another ace. You think? I think maybe. Ooh, so that's pretty, that's pretty good hand, right? Right. But we haven't looked at my hand yet. So let's see what I've got. I've got six, the eight, the three. You think? What do you think? You think? The five. Yes. Yes. This never happens. What? You're looking at me like I'm crazy. Oh, 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 you probably didn't notice this. Uh, it, well, yeah, that, but if you can notice, I don't know, if, can you read that? There's fine print there. Oh, okay, yeah. Can you read what it says? Oh, there's right? one more rule. There's one more rule. So if we turn the card over, see the final rule it's, is the five of spades, the three of diamonds, the eight of clubs, and the six of hearts always wins. So close, so close. 
Tom's Poker. Yeah.